एवरीवन आई होप यू हैविंग अ वंडरफुल डे दैट साउंडेड फनी ये इंट्रोज आर टफ एनीवे इन टुडे इज वीडियो विल नॉट गेट इनटू एनी टेक्निकलिटीज ऑफ कैलिग्राफी वी जस्ट गोना टेक अ सिंपल कोट एंड क्रिएट अ सिंपल लेआउट अनलाइक मी ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज़ आई वेंट ओवरबोर्ड विद दीस फ्लरिशेस लेट अस टेक अ स्टेप बैक एंड थिंक हाउ डू वी डिसाइड व्हाट वी वांट आवर लेआउट्स टू लुक लाइक what i usually do is i try placing words together in a few different ways now a few different layouts that i've tried here are keeping in mind that i might want my layout to be square or of landscape or portrait orientation or i might want to highlight a few words and make them more prominent you can also try putting them in a circular format or try different alignments you can try combining them with tiny doodles or with a painting in the background it all comes down to what you want For now, I have kept it very simple. Let us see what I came up with. Well, I let Jack choose for me. <laughs> Apart from choosing a layout, You also need to choose the calligraphy or lettering style that you're going to use to create that layout. It is better to choose a style first and then try different layout ideas because the shape and size of your letters as well as the spacing between them is going to change depending upon the style you choose. I have used four calligraphy along with ribbon lettering in this piece. If you're new to calligraphy, you can check out the video I uploaded last week for a few tips and tricks. on calligraphy another thing i normally do is i first create my layouts in pencil this gives me space for making mistakes trying out different ideas changing my mind and most importantly it lets me make corrections and afterwards when i'm tracing the lines using a marker or a pen the point is not to trace them exactly but to treat them as reference in order to avoid mistakes which now by the way cannot be erased now if you know for calligraphy you know that after you've drawn your letter you go back to make your down strokes thicker that is what i'll be doing for the parts of this layout that i've chosen to do with four calligraphy
All right. Now that I'm done with the part of my layout I wanted to do with four calligraphy, I'm starting with the part I wanted to do using ribbon lettering. The idea of ribbon lettering is easy to understand, a bit tricky to implement, but easy to understand. The idea is to imagine that you're creating your letters using an actual ribbon. So every time you fold the ribbon, you see the back side, and then when you fold it again, you see the front, and so on. So in my ribbon, I have chosen the front side to be red and the back side to be golden. Yeah, this ribbon looks expensive, doesn't it? Yeah. Also, I will cover ribbon lettering in more detail in a separate video. So keep an eye out for that.